All right, um, I'd just like to insert a few words about the PRS construction and the woods used in it. Now, it's a bit different from the Les Paul. Now, when I first had this PRS, I assumed, stupidly, that the body was mahogany, like the Les Paul. But actually, it's not. From as far as I can tell, this is actually older. The wood on the back. The front is maple, which at least matches up to the Les Paul in that way. But the neck is also maple, again, unlike the Les Paul, which has a mahogany neck. So, the interesting thing about changing the pickups on these is I'm putting the same pickups in as this Epiphone, or say a Gibson with the classic 57s fitted. But the construction is different. Also, the scale length is different. This has a longer scale length than the Les Paul. It's got a shorter scale length than a Fender. It's kind of in between the two. So how much is that gonna make a difference to the way the pickups sound in the guitar? Okay, we're gonna find out. It's an interesting thing. Is it gonna make it sound like a Les Paul? Or is it gonna sound like a different beast altogether? Okay, let's, let's find that out. Right, so we're gonna start back with the PRS. I'm gonna start backwards really, can't I? I'm gonna start with the neck pickup. And let's do it um, without the parallel switching in. So we're gonna do it in normal operating mode, which is series. Okay, so the, wir the wiring is now series. bluesy tone now. Yeah, and that's pretty good on its own. Okay, so that's just as if we didn't have the switching in. Okay, let's pull that up. That's coil, well it's not coil tapped. I keep on falling into that. I always want to say coil tapped, but this is series parallel switching. Okay, so. You can of course turn it down. But I kind of like the bite of it on full. get quite a funky sound out of it. It's quite a good one for actually strumming. Pair again. That's back in series and parallel. Yeah, so it makes it a bit brighter, a bit, uh, a bit more shimmery actually. It's a great one with a bit of delay. quite a glassy tone now and I think without that harshness that it used to have now the reason I've started on the neck pickup is because this is where I do most of my clean tones generally speaking the bridge pickup is a little bit too harsh for clean tones in my opinion again you know so uh, but having said that, now that I've got this parallel switching on this as well, if 
found I'm actually starting to like the bridge pickup for clean tones as well. And interestingly, try this one on for size. You recognize this song? <laughs> That's almost there for that sound. And if we'll add a little bit of chorus onto that. So you, see, you can see what I did there. I actually flipped it back into series switching just when I wanted an extra bit of dirt coming in, which works quite well because it's really easy to get to. So instead of having that stupid five-way selector switch, which I really didn't like, I can just flip in and out of that. The other thing that we can do, to have a nice clean sound on the neck pickup and then immediately flip to the bridge pickup for a good lead sound. The only thing I don't like sitting down with the uh, a tremolo arm, because they always get stuck around your shorts or whatever, your trousers. Your pants if you're American. But, I am absolutely loving this sound so far. I've tried it in rehearsals. I haven't tried it at a gig yet, but it's going to go there, so... I'm pretty certain this is going to be my number one guitar again, because this now... does everything I want it to. It's got so many different sounds. Interestingly, when you put it in the middle position, we've now got extra sounds because we can have both pickups on in normal series running. We can have the neck pickup up. So that's one. That one's in parallel and the bridge is now in series. We can have the bridge pickup up. That one is in parallel in this one of the series. Let's swap that again. Very subtle difference, but there you go. Or you can have both of them up now. That's quite a clean sound. An extra clean sound by pulling up both of those. It's not exactly acoustic, but if you want to kind of get that kind of vibe, this really works well. Okay. So let's go for the high gain sounds again. Um, this just sings anyway. It's, it's really cool. So... Okay, enough of Led Zeppelin. Let's uh, let's try a different one. I'll go for the really high game with a bit of echo, so we can do the solos. I was actually going to compare this to the Les Paul, 
But I'm just really going to cut back to some of the early ones we did with the Les Paul because it's the same guitar, nothing has changed. And anyway, I like playing this better, so. Okay, how about the, uh, the neck pickup on high gain? <laughs> thing I do notice about the uh, the high gain sounds is it's much harder to tell the difference between the series and the parallel switching which to be honest isn't a big deal to me like but you know because most of the high gain sounds I kind of want to have it in series and that's just where I live with that but you know each to their own <laughs> So I think you've got a really, really versatile guitar now. So more versatile on the clean sounds, as I've said, but a great beast of a guitar. I'm not going to put this one down for a, a good few years, probably. Okay, and, and many thanks also to Steve at uh, Musical Instrument Repairs WA for sorting out the weird wiring in this thing. Yeah, had a few issues with the, the pickup depth. If you ever think of doing this to a PRS, watch out for the depth of the pickup cavity. It's not really big enough for Gibson pickups, but Steve made it work, so okay. Bit of routing there on that. Anyway, great guitar. I love it. See what you think. Oh yeah, and a final word on the construction, the whole wood uh, and scale length thing. It doesn't sound quite the same as the Epiphone and presumably not quite the same as a Les Paul either. I think it's hard to say what actually makes the big difference. It's not the pickups, obviously, because they are the same. Um, wood should make a difference. You know, there's an al always an argument about tone wood and how much difference that makes. I think scale length does make a big difference because you get more harmonics in a longer scale length. Now this is longer than the Les Paul, so it is a bit brighter. Um, how much of that is down to the, the woods used, like the maple neck and the older body? It's certainly um, lighter and a lot more comfortable to wear than a Les Paul. I will put up with a Les Paul because they're great guitars, but you know, this, this just sings and dances and does it all. So again, choice is yours. This was my experiment, and for me, it turned out brilliantly. I love it. Catch you later. <laughs>